Here are just a few examples of animals traversing real-world surfaces that differ greatly in stiffness. Think mud or water versus rock and concrete. How do we move effectively in this complex world? Let's use jumping or hopping as a model motion since it generates large impacts. Why not study humans? Well, clearly humans, or at least me here, are not graceful hoppers. Toads, on the other hand, jump several times their own body length, and in order to do this, they generate and dissipate large amounts of energy rapidly. This would be like if dunking a basketball from the three-point line was as easy as taking a step for you and me. Toads' legs are also highly evolved for jumping and their arms for landing. If you listen closely, you can actually hear how evolved each limb is for that task. For reference, this 7 second video clip in real time happens faster than you could sneeze. What I'm interested in is how the surface stiffness affects the cane toads during their landing. So I designed and built a platform with a force plate that can directly measure the impact force from one of these toad's limbs. The platform can be locked in place for a rigid or hard landing, or it can be allowed to move up and down along a linear translation stage. We can then attach springs to adjust the surface stiffness and see how the toads land on a surface that depresses underneath them. I found that toads land just as well on hard surfaces as they do on springy surfaces and they do so without changing their arm motion, impact forces, or energy. The surface on the right is like sinking into mud past your ankles. Or you could think of that springy surface as jumping onto a trampoline and the hard as jumping onto concrete. I also looked at the size or the inertial mass of the landing pad since the first pad on the left was almost 10 times the mass of the toads. As you can see, Toads aren't tripped up by the smaller landing pad depressing faster. To put this in perspective, the toad pushing down the smaller platform would be similar to you pushing your friend in an office chair. The larger platform would be like you pushing a small car. We can actually move our friend and the car a similar distance, but it takes much longer to move the more massive car that same distance, just like the toad trying to move the larger platform. I discovered that toads land similarly across surface conditions. Here we see their arm compression during landing was similar whether the surface was rigid like the one on the far left or increasingly springy like the surfaces on the right of the graph. And if you were a toad, you also would not change your posture when landing on the smaller platform that moves more quickly. Toads clearly use a strategy that results in similar landing behavior across a wide range of surface conditions. By understanding how toads move, we can draw general insights that help us learn how animals navigate a complex world. We might also gain knowledge that could help us improve human movement and push the boundaries of athletic performance. Or maybe even help us build robots that move more like us. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about how we move in a complex world, please check out my other projects.